What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to backup and restore your WhatsApp conversation history from a device to another, or of course, from your device to the computer and so on, using a program called Dr. Phone. And we're going to basically use the uh, part of this program called the WhatsApp transfer, this one in here, because this is a program with multiple features, including phone backup, phone transfer, system repair for iOS, and of course, data eraser, screen unlock, data recovery. But of course, we're going to use just the WhatsApp transfer in this video. Now, for those of you who are curious, you can get the program in here on wondershare.com and you can press download and download the Dr. Phone WhatsApp transfer in here. It's available for Windows and Mac OS. And for those of you who are curious about the system specifications, you have to have these specifications in here. So at least one gigahertz CPU, RAM has to be at least 256 megs, and of course, one gig is recommended. 200 megs required of free space. And of course, it supports Windows 10, 8, 8.1, even XP is supported. And for the Mac OS, it's supports most macOS versions. Now, if you still need help and support with this program, they do have in here a very good help and support page where you can find your help. But let's see what the program can do. So I have connected a phone, an iPhone XS Max in here to the computer, and we're going to press WhatsApp transfer in there. Now you can see that another program will start immediately, and we're going to move this one into the uh, dock. And as you can see, this is Dr. Phone WhatsApp transfer. It presents us in here four different options. Transfer WhatsApp messages, backup WhatsApp messages, restore WhatsApp messages to iOS or restore them to Android. And with this program, you can even backup an Android device and transfer it to iOS or vice versa. I'm going to go ahead and backup my messages in here and I'm going to press this button right away. And of course, it connects to the device. This is actually very well made. It's actually very easy to use, which is very, very good because many people are not that technical and they do prefer a easier to understand user interface. And in this case, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. So as you can see, at this point, it's backing up the uh, device. I'm going to wait for it to complete and I'm going to be right back. All right, so as you can see, it's performing a backup in the background. So we're going to wait for it to complete. All right, so as you can see, the WhatsApp data has been transferred to the computer. It's been backed up at this point and I can press OK. Now, if I want to restore it back to the phone, for example, after I restore the phone, or I get a new phone and stuff like that. If it's an iOS device, I can press in here. And of course, we can see the backups that I have. And of course, at this point, I can simply press view in here. And of course, it will start scanning the uh, WhatsApp messages in here and attachments and stuff like that. And of course, I can recover them to the computer. But if I don't want to recover them, I can simply go back in here. And of course, I can press next to restore this in here. And I'm going to press restore and it will restore it to the phone. So I'm going to press continue and I'm already logged in with an account. So I'm going to press in here. And as you can see, now it's restoring my data. So this will take a couple of minutes, but all the data will be, of course, restored back. All right. So as you can see, we first need to turn off the find my iPhone before the data can be restored, the WhatsApp data. And that's because the uh, program will basically restore a backup containing the WhatsApp data to the phone and you cannot restore any backup on iPhone if you have find my iPhone on. All right, so I turned it off and I can press OK in here and it will continue the process with no problem. So uh, I'm going to wait for it to complete and there we go. All the data has been restored to the phone. So the WhatsApp messages are back in there. And of course, I can use another device like an iPhone 10 or 8 and stuff like that. And I can even use an Android device with no problem. So at this point, I was able to restore with no problem the data to the phone. And of course, I can even back up it again if I want to. Now, of course, you can even back up the line, the kick, Viber, and WeChat, if you have any of these applications in here, they are all supported in the same application. So this is basically the Dr. Phone WhatsApp transfer, and you can find it available in here. And of course, you can download it from the official Dr. Phone website. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and check out the program in the links below. Peace out.